How we doing YouTube? Stevie here. March 12th, about uh, 1 30, 20 to 2, something like that. <coughs> oh, probably got some of the worst, some of the worst words you can hear when you come into a place. And that is, and we've, you've all heard it before, this isn't nothing new. Uh, we don't have that product. Well then, why did you order a truck for the product? I mean, I didn't ask her that. It's not her fault. I come into this place, Pratt Paper, down here in Henderson. I've been here several, a few times, bringing big rolls in from up at Valparaiso in their northwest Indiana. Um, this is a brand new mill <clears throat> and when they were just getting it rolling before they got their fiber yard running they were bringing big rolls of paper down from Valparaiso to, to get the mill going to make finished product and uh, you know to get all the make sure everything's gonna work okay and, and kind of get it rolling well, this was the first time I've been, and it's been kind of hit or miss sometimes unloading that paper. Um, I did a video once. Oh, it's been mm, last fall, maybe. And I stayed here for about half a day trying to get unloaded. It was a disaster. Uh, only had one guy running the forklift, and he had to try to run the mill and keep up with the tr It was a disaster. But the other couple times, I think I've been here two or three times. The other couple times it was not too bad, and then that one time was bad. And this is the first time I've been here to pick up something. And as soon as I, I pull in, and I, the, all the dock doors look like they're pretty much full. And there's a couple trucks kind of parked in the way, like they're waiting. I said, oh man, they're, they're pretty full. So I go in the shipping office there, and the girl, um, she's pretty nice. Um, as nice as she can be when three people that was in there around me didn't have regular clothes on sandals and sweatpants and the one guy didn't have their proper pickup number so you deal with that all day uh, you can be a little grumpy I'm not gonna throw any stones at her and uh, but she wasn't really that bad with me I mean she was but I could see what uh, how a person would want to really lose your marbles um, so I give her my pickup number and uh, okay, the yeah, phone number and everything. She goes, go up there, grab a lot, and I'll give you a call when I get you a doctor. No problem. <clears throat> As I leave the building and I look up where she kind of direction she had pointed me at, hokey Moses, there's probably 25 trucks up here in this gravel lot. I'm like, oh, this is this is looking not so promising. Because I know they're all waiting for doors just like me. Like, I'll have me some tacos. I made tacos over the weekend for, for the truck this week. I'll make me some tacos and uh, I'll sweep out the trailer because I know this place is pretty strict about the trailer. It needs to be clean and no nails. <coughs> Those nails ruin that edge of that paper. Those big rolls. And I know that's what I'm getting because I see a truck pulling out with his doors open. As I'm walking in and out, he had big rolls in there. So it's oh, it's not finished product. It's big rolls going up to West Rock in Illinois is where this was going. And uh, so I go, I have to make sure I don't have no nails. And I didn't do anyway, so I swept out the trailer good. Well, but just about the time I got done sweeping out, the, well, I'm just done sweeping out the trailer. Closed the door and I was undoing my broom. I felt my phone vibrate. Look, I had it with me. Usually I leave it in the truck. I had it with me. I felt my phone vibrate. And it's West Rock, or it's a uh, Brant down here. And I was like, oh, this is not good. Because I knew there was a lot of trucks that ain't moved since I've been here. I've only been here 10 minutes in this parking lot. And she said, are you this truck? Yeah, yes, I'm that truck. Uh, we don't have that product. Oh, no. I thought, oh, well, all right, thanks. And uh, thanks for letting me know. And I'll call my dispatcher. <clears throat> so then I call them, which always leads to the next most furious part. Well, all right, give me a couple minutes, I'll call the broker. So now we're in a daisy chain of, he, cause he didn't call the broker, he sent the broker an email. He sent the broker an email, so when the broker decides to look at his email, then 
he emails down here to Pratt and say, hey, they, the driver says you don't have this pickup number, doesn't have this product. At which time, then they're going to say the exact thing they just said to me, which is, yeah, we don't have that product. And he's going to say, oh, okay. And then he's going to have to email back the dispatcher, and then the dispatcher's going to have to uh, give me a text or something. But I don't really want to leave because... Um, I got to make sure I get my truck order not used. And sometimes if you get mad and leave, they don't want to do that. They get, you know, I don't want to give them an excuse. But now we're, like I said, it's, it's quarter to two. Down here, I'm in Henderson, but even in Evansville, it's getting pretty late in the day to try to find something to do. Terrible, just terrible. But the sun's in my eyes, that's why I'm squinting. Five, fifty, six minutes on this already. Anyway, it's all part of it. Sometimes they just make it hard for you to make a living. I, I don't understand why they ordered the truck if they didn't have the product. Did, did the mill break on them last night, or are they running that close to the to the vest, so to speak? That <clears throat> um, what they what they're making, they're shipping that very same day. I don't know. It's odd. Very odd. But here no, there I see one of our other trucks are up there on the dock and he's been I've been here forty minutes so far in the parking lot here off duty and he hasn't turned a wheel yet. I do see some doors open though, outdoors open. And I've seen a couple trucks leave. So mine might not be the only one that didn't have the product. So I'm wondering if their mill went down or something and whatever product they're running. They, uh, like I said, they're just, whatever they run yesterday or last night, they ship today. <clears throat> so hopefully they find something. Something to work. Who knows for sure. Oh, hang on a minute. 